Hey guys, it's Queen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, I'm still waiting for you to subscribe. And if you've subscribed, thank you for the support I've gotten so far. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, we are making base cream for whitening, lightening, caramel or hot chocolate lotion. This base cream can be used for all types of body lotion for all skin types. And I am making it from scratch myself so if you want to learn how to make your base cream this is a very good video for you um the benefit of making base cream is that you are very sure of the things you have in your lotion you are very sure of the things you have in your cream so it's always more preferable and cheaper so i'm adding one cup of emulsifying wax that's really all i actually have got so i'm using just all the cups of my emulsifying wax Emulsifying wax is what joins water and oil together. You know when you add water and oil together in a bowl, they separate. So e-wax is what you use to join them together so they will not separate. And I am using one cup because I want to make 1,002 ml of it, of my base cream. I'll also be using one cup of my steric acid. Yeah, I just bought this one. I've had all these things for like two years now. I've not really been using them. I always make bees like splints in ones. I bought a new steric acid because I use steric acid more than emulsifying wax. I'm using a cup of steric acid for thickness. I want my, my bee cream to be very thick because it has to be thick. I'm going to be adding more more ingredients in it when I make my different solutions. So the base cream has to be thick from scratch. Yeah, that kind of thing. So um, a cup of steric acid is okay, that's 250 gram. Now I'm adding um, alcohol, citrate alcohol, I don't know if I got the pronunciation, but I'm adding citrate alcohol to it for antibacteria, um, um, things, bubbles, cause on um, lotion. So I'm adding half cup, that is 125 gram of the alcohol on it. So I, I swear to be honest, I don't know the work of the alcohol, but I know it works for bacteria and those kind of things. So, so to melt my my base, which is the waxes, I'm going to be adding 60 ml of coconut oil. I know the mistake I used to make when I started making base cream from scratch, that was like 2018. I used to put the oil too much, way too much, that the oil will cover up all the wax. That's what I used to do. I didn't know that so it was just a little oil we need just to help in fastening. I'll be fasting, I'll be fastening the melting of the wax. But I used to think it was the oil that would melt the wax, so I used to add a load. I could add like 500 grams of oil in it. And when I make my, my base, it will become watery. No matter the little amount of water, it will become watery and it will separate. I, I have a bottle where I made lotion, base cream. I think around last year june till now i'm adding um 30 ml of almond oil i have the core i still have the bottle with me it's just water i could not use it was just so vexed because i wasted my oil i wasted 500 gram oil just because of what because i wanted to melt my e-wax and steric acid you just need little oil to melt it just to make it faster in melting and then i'll be using the do double boiler method to melt my wax so guys, I'm measuring water now. I'm using distilled water. The distilled water is still the best to use. You can use normal tap water, but you have to boil it for a very long time. Then wait for it to set too very, very long before using it in your cream. And even after settling, you still have to boil it again for because you need it eat. So I'm adding a liter of my distilled water. That is 4 cups, 250 times 4. That is 1,000 grams. 1000 ml a liter in the third one and then i'll be adding for so i'm using double boiler also to warm up my water you can use your oven but my microwave is far from me and i don't want to use it so i use double boiler which is put water in a pot put it on stove or gas whatever it is you have and then place your wax on it to to melt or place your water on it 
to get warm so this is my already melted wax one of the first times i'm going to get this and i'm waiting for it to cool down because it is very hot and i can't add water i can't add hot water to it right now so i waited for the water and the wax to cool down before mixing them together you have to stay as you are mixing it so you will not have chunks or clumps man english oh, english well, that pretty. so i'm mixing it together very well to mix to get both mixed very well together yes guys I, I got a lot of bubbles just by mixing this and i'm going to be using my uh, my whisk to whisk it more so i can get it so guys i'm using i'm going to be using my whisk you can also use stick blender if that's what you have actually i have both but that stick blender i've never used it in like several months i just left it since i bought my whisk the whisk is faster and sweeter to use so I'll just use my hand mix mixer. This bubble you are going to get, don't worry about it. I will show you a way that I get it off very fast. The wrist is going to give you a lot of bubbles. Guys, it is already getting thick, it's more small here. Yeah. It is still warm or very warm and I had to put it has a very airy side that's close to my window in the kitchen so it is going to get cool very fast and i got a lot of bubbles here if you leave these bubbles like this you are going to get bacteria and some things in your lotion and you do not want that so you have to get the bubbles off look at it it's so plenty just because we have skin but we have to get the the base very thick and this is one of the fastest ways to get it thick You no, know, if you make base and you got it perfectly well in your very first try at doing it, you are lucky. Because I've made base like five times in my life and I've wasted it five times in my life. That was when I was still learning how to make it. So I really do not, not blame myself. When you learn some things, you have to make some mistakes. So I am eating my bowl gently on the floor to get my bubbles out. But this method is going to take a very long time and I am not interested in it. So I bought rubbing alcohol and then it cuts my my, my bubbles off immediately. Uh, it cuts my, so you can always get uh, rubbing alcohol from any organic store. If you don't see one shop, go to another shop. There are, there are zillions of shops in organic stores that you surely see. Look at it, it is already thick. So right now I'm going to take it under my fan in my living room just to make it thicker more and more because it is going to get thicker than it is i'm seeing some chunks in it it is just it is normal because uh, the base cream is getting thick so you see some chunks that you don't want but you just have to leave it I made 1,200 grams of my, of my, what's it called, my base cream. So now I'm adding, it is cool a little bit, so I'm adding my Jamal Plus. I am not going to add Jamal Plus, my preservative when it is already cold, so it has to be a little bit warm before you add your preservative. You can use any type of preservative you want. I'm using two teaspoons of it. You can use any type of preservative, be up to pan. Oh, I use Jamal Plus most of the time. Never actually use any other preservative except Jamal Plus. So I'm whisking it. Look at it, it's very thick. This consistency is actually okay for some people. But since my wax is 500 grams, my wax is the steric acid and it works for 500 grams. It's going to get thicker than it is right now. That is really thick and very fine. It is milky white. That is very fine. The color is actually very fine. So it is mostly the ingredients you add in your lotion. That will not change the color of your body lotion but right now it is milky white and it is fine look at it already thick this is fine but it's going to get thicker so if you do not really want it thick you can always reduce your e-wax to 200 gram if you do not want it as thick as this you have to make your your e-wax as steric okay actually e-wax is fine e-wax is for water and oil I'm adding lactic acid, that's really all I have. I'm adding two teaspoons or two teaspoons of lactic acid, just everything, two teaspoons. So if you don't want it as thick as this, just make your steric acid 200 gram. But just to be safe, please, 
follow the instruction, follow the measurement. So you now have a part where your lotion is now two or three or two something something. I'm also going to be adding white nail glycerin. I'm adding three teaspoons of my white nail glycerin just to activate it. Yes, you can always add a bottle of nature secret oil or white nail oil if you want to activate it. But I'm going to be getting a little bit of, of this base for my face cream and I do not like adding white nail oil for my face cream or anything so I didn't add it. But if you want, you can always add it to your own lotion. Either Stikler oil, white nail oil or nature secret oil. Any of those white nail oil you have, you can just add a bottle to it. Or two bottles if you want it very 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 strong so I'm going to be transferring it to it is still warm even the way it is thick it is still warm so I'm going to be transferring it to my very clean sterilized container that I always store my base so whenever I want to use it I can just go there and use it as I want so guys please if you've not subscribed to my channel I am begging you to do so do not forget to subscribe to my channel I'm still going to be dropping more and more videos on skincare, nails, hair, and makeup, so many things. So please subscribe to my channel so you see my videos when I post them. So I'm going to be transferring it to my clean container now and this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate. Um, I actually have another video. That's rubbing alcohol I'm adding to it. I actually have another video I want to edit right now. So... Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys in my next video. Please give me a very good thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel.